Hey everyone, my name is Blair, and this is How To Make It Happen. Today I wanted to highlight one of my best friends, Frankie, who's truly out there making it happen, and not even for just herself. She's been raising money for the past year in order to help provide kids with a safe place to study and learn. So let me take you all the way over to Africa. This is the foundation of a library under construction in Ghana, except it's been this way for the past eight years. Unfortunately, a lot of times that happens. Someone was like, yeah, let's do it, and then backed out halfway. Why will it be good to have the library finished? Um, I am so glad when you asked me this question. But first, let's talk about the man who started it all, Godwin. I came over to Sega to attend the funeral of a relative. I saw lots of children in the community, and they told me they were not going to school. I was so alarmed and shocked to know that some people never had the opportunity to go to school at this point in time. So he decided to quit his job at 24 and build a school. And he said like everyone thought he was crazy and like no one thought he would be able to do it. And the school grew to 800 students. I can remember when I started this school. I didn't know how to read at all. When I was there the last time, there was kids using Godwin's front, because he's the only one that has an outside light. They're all huddled around it, like studying for exams outside this light because they don't have anywhere to study at night. It would start raining and then they'd be done. Like they couldn't study anymore. Like imagine having a library with computers and books. I couldn't imagine learning another language. How would our school be without books? And like the village is just, they're so tight and it's their only school. I was helping students out with math. Guys, like when's your exam? Like what are you studying for? This was in March, it was a Saturday night and they're like, our exam's in June. Imagine seeing a bunch of like 12 to 13 year old kids in Canada three months before their exam studying. Cause it will help us to pronounce some big words hmm. or to know the meaning of words which we didn't see before. At first, I honestly only wanted to raise like $200 to send a couple students to school. So I was like, you know what? Let's use this and let's do something bigger. When we received something from the headmaster, it was an estimate and it was about 2,700 US, which at the time worked out to be about like 3,300 Canadian. And I remember looking at that number and thinking it was just like, I could never do it. And I was trying, 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 then I really make it. We reached it in probably, I think, middle of November. So only a month and a half we raised it. I remember calling him, so we did like a little phone call where I told him I had all the money and he, it was just like the most emotional phone call of my life. So we have all the money raised. All the money? Yeah. We did it. We did it. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, the Chara is getting a library. It made us get new people out there to do new estimates. And then we realized it was gonna cost way more than what we ever expected. So we just kept continuing to fundraise. The economy in Ghana isn't doing very well and inflation, inflation's crazy. And a lot of times they don't have this material in, it's not natural to their uh, country. So they have to like import it. It's just, it's expensive. Right now we're at the goal again. So we've raised 9,500. We thought we had the money and now we've got to raise another 9,000 so that it'd be completely fully running and potentially yeah. with the salary of a librarian. We um, have been able to pretty much finish the entire building um, to the point of just needing metal sheeting for the roof. Oh wow. I can't believe it. Like, and I th honestly think we could have this other 9,000 by before Christmas. So people are actually realizing like they're actually doing this. Like two women on our front porch with a goal and we're, we're getting it done. We're making it happen. So today we're doing a bracelet make and take fundraiser. So what's happening is everyone's kind of making their own bracelets, um, custom, it's all aromatherapy so they can add some lava or felt so that they can use it as a tool for their essential oils. They don't realize that they're really donating to anything. We've been able to do it in ways of selling handmade products from Ghana or just the bracelets and it doesn't make people feel pressured. They think they're just getting a product. Like, oh, I got a beautiful yeah. bracelet, but they're building a library. Like, exactly. I just think the like goods that give back is a really powerful tool. Being here is one of the happiest parts of my life. It's the kids that inspired me to teach because they gave me all the morals I need. They always inspire me in my teaching and then they make me go more. 
Frankie, I love this project. How can people get involved and help out? You can go on to the We Felt That website and you will see a section that says Roof for Ghana. So all of the bracelets, you'll see um, bracelets like this that have the uh, hand-painted Ghanaian bead. And anytime you purchase one of these, the proceeds go towards a library. Um, you can also just make a monetary donation. And I think a lot of people forget, but even just liking our Facebook page or our Instagram or just sharing something can be just as good as a monetary donation. It's just the support or like words of encouragement. Anything like that is fantastic. You could also, if you enjoyed this video, you could host a make and take. We're in the Niagara region. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. All the links to help support Roof for Ghana are in the description below. And don't forget that even a simple like or a share really helps get the word out. If you enjoyed this video, click that red subscribe button down below to hear more stories of people making it happen and to follow my journey as well. And until next time, this is how to make it happen. I've been hearing symphonies before all I heard was silence Life was stringing me along Then you came and you cut me